Hi guys, it is another hot, sticky, miserable dog day in the collapse of global industrial civilization. It is Friday the 13th, yes, your lucky day. <clears throat> that would be Friday, August 13th, 2021. Uh, and as I say, it is your lucky day because it is Friday and that means it is time <clears throat> for my weekly ecological meltdown roundup rant where I <coughs> simply check in uh, with mongabay.com with uh, Rhett Butler <coughs> and the boys and girls over at mongabay.com for their latest laundry list of assaults against this planet that don't have anything to do with the code red for humanity. These are, these are all of the other code reds for the planet. Uh, <clears throat> but before I, I start <clears throat> into uh, Manga Bay, I'm going to check in with our friends over at Amazon Watch. <clears throat> <clears throat> Damn it! <clears throat> what is in my throat? I cannot get... <clears throat> I don't know what is in the air, guys. <clears throat> And I will do the best I can. So we're going to check in with Amazon Watch for the most knee-slapping, hilarious headline possibly of the summer of 2021. <clears throat> Fires rage worldwide, but there is still time to act! Exclamation point. Yes. So I want you to see what the Amazon rainforest looks like this year. Little dog, I'm sorry, you're gonna... We have to show the folks what the Amazon rainforest... This is the Amazon rainforest this week. Ah, uh, but there is still time to act. Yes, which of course means send a donation to Amazon Watch. All right, from the U.S. to Brazil, Siberia to Turkey, Italy to Greece. We are witnessing fires raging across the globe, consuming forests, lives, wildlife, and our future. Fires have also raised natural savanna grasslands burning within and around indigenous territories. The combination of extreme heat and prolonged drought have led to the worst fires in almost a decade and come as the IPCC handed down a landmark report on the escalating climate crisis. It's all connected. The burning season of Amazon forest has begun a historic drought, rampant deforestation, and lax environmental regulations means this year is likely to be a devastating year for fires. Yes, but don't worry, there is still time to act. You, you, by sending money to Amazon Watch, can stop the fires in Siberia. I've heard that uh, the fires in Siberia are bigger than all of the other wildfires on the planet combined. The fires in Russia getting almost no mainstream media attention. You take the rest of the planet outside of Russia, lump it together, and the fires in Siberia are bigger. But anyway, uh, we're going to go from Amazon Watch over to our regular Doomsday Prophets. <clears throat> I love uh, when they start out the lead story with a question. What can seashells tell us about the health of the oceans? What can seashells tell us about the health of the oceans? They can tell us we are so dead. Thank you, seashells, for reporting in from the bottom of the sea. 
Okay, then uh, we got a story about the uh, the topsoil collapse uh, from from uh, from ocean acidification to topsoil collapse. Here is the animal you've never heard of heading into extinction. This is the buffy-headed marmoset. Meet the kitten-sized clown-faced monkey that is leaping toward extinction. The buffy-headed marmoset is now down to no more than 2,500 individuals scattered across dwindling patches of Brazil's Atlantic forest. It faces a range of threat, blah, blah, blah. I anyway, guys, I, we can all kiss goodbye. The buffy-headed marmoset. Okay, we have another green commitment being put into question. This is, the, this is about banksters behind it all. You, you know, this is uh, how Swiss bank UBS has promised to save the planet, but their green commitment is now in question. Despite its sustainability rhetoric, Swiss bank UBS has financed controversial land developer Brazil Agro with a bond issuance that raised 40 half and a million 45.5 million dollars. The operation is part of a broader strategy to profit from Brazilian agrobusiness. Yes, uh, these planet eaters are responsible for deforesting nearly 22,000 hectares, otherwise known as 54,000 of acres of native vegetation in its farms in Brazil's Cerrado region. And even with this ridiculous Brazilian government has fined them one and a half million dollars for illegal deforestation. This financial product chosen to raise money through an agribusiness receivable certificate Yes, is backed by future harvest. Yes. Anyway, anybody who does not get it, that the banksters behind it all, a, a development bank uh, with their sustainability rhetoric. Yes, okay. Well, you know, I have been talking all about the South China Sea uh, being the uh, future home of World War III. I, I don't know if Manga Bay has ever weighed in on the South China Sea, but what, this is what Manga Bay has to say about the future home of World War III. <clears throat> Geopolitical standoff in the South China Sea leads to, <clears throat> wow, environmental fallout. Yes, satellite images show significant growth in the occurrence of algae blooms in contested areas in the South China Sea. Um, images suggest that the algae blooms are linked to the presence of vessels anchored in the area and to island building activities in the region. Uh, yes, yeah, satellite images help give us a preview of the ecological state of the South China Sea. Yes, do you think so? You can uh, only imagine the environmental fallout coming to the South China Sea as World War III. Uh, cranks up. All right, from the South China Sea to Peru. Hmm. You will not believe that, that in Peru, a corrupt land titling scheme sees forests sold off as farms. 
Yes, an irregular land titling system is behind the deforestation of a swath of Amazon rainforest now occupied by a Mennonite colon colony. Uh, in 2015, more than 40 land registry files were filled out with false information to give forests titles that made them appear to be farmland. This system allowed, you know, the Mennonites to deforest more than 1,000 hectares, or otherwise known as 2,500 acres of forest, some within indigenous communities. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, here is a story about the collapse of salt marshes. Salt marshes sequester significant carbon in their sediment, more per hectare than tropical rainforest. They also protect the land from storm surges and sea level rises, and they shelter a variety of birds, fish, and crustaceans. However, salt marshes are being lost quickly to erosion and development. You can kiss goodbye the salt marshes. I mean, uh, of course, erosion uh, means the beginning signs of sea level rise. Uh, salt marshes, uh, like mangroves, are going to be the first victims of sea level rise. There will be no salt marshes left on this planet uh, in a few years. And my guess is all of that, that carbon storing sediment. Have you ever walked through a salt marsh? I mean, it, it, it stinks in a really good way. I, I just, I, I, I'm just taking a wild guess here that the sediments in salt marshes are unbelievable methane traps and when salt marshes tip that all of this methane now contained in all of this marsh sediment you know at the that the roots grow in you're going to see another methane bomb blowing this is simply a wild guess on my part all right didn't we uh it was yesterday, it was World Elephant Day. Yes. On World Elephant Day and every day, humans should stay away from wildlife. Yes. Uh, though we appreciate wild animals like elephants on World Elephant Day and every other day, Travelers and the tourism industry need to stop seeking out and promoting hands-on experiences with wild animals. When humans insist upon touching, feeding, and taking photos with wild animals like elephants, it changes their behaviors in ways that can be dangerous, as in the case of begging for food and habituation. Yes. Uh, anyway, what is going on with uh, violence against indigenous in Brazil? <clears throat> wow, where have we heard this headline before? Indigenous Brazilians fear surge in violence as land grab bill nears passage. Brazil's lower house of Congress has now approved a controversial bill that could help legalize claims by land grabbers occupying public forest and indigenous territories. The bill is now headed to the Senate uh, for a vote uh, where it is likely to further embolden invaders, activists say. Indigenous groups say they fear that violence on indigenous territories will escalate in the coming months. Do you think so? The legislation in question is just one of a slew 
of state and federal bills threatening indigenous rights, which in turn are part of a wider pattern of attacks and violence on indigenous lands throughout the country. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's look at some unpublished data on Brazilian biodiversity. Yes, Brazil alone accounts for 17% of the entire terrestrial territory of the tropics with a biodiversity that is more abundant than some entire continents. Over 20% of the freshwater fish on the planet and 17% of all of Earth's birds are found in Brazil. Yes, you will not believe this, that animals and plants are now at risk of disappearing before scientists are able to get to know them. Yes, here we go. This is the UN asking to save the planet. The UN, UNESCO calls for closure of road running through a World Heritage Park in Papua New Guinea. UNESCO has called for the closure of a long stretch of road that runs through Lawrence National P Park, a World Heritage Site uh, in Papua. Uh, experts have identified an increase in deforestation and logging activities inside the World Heritage Site National Park since the road was completed. Yes. Uh, do you think so? Uh, let's go over to Colombia. Looking at the latest person getting ready to get a bullet through their head. Uh, this would be Ana Villa. Ana Villa has fearlessly confronted agribusiness, multinationals, and armed groups that have tried to, tried to take over the land where rural communities and indigenous people live in the Colombian plains. She risks her life, otherwise meaning she will soon lose her life, fighting for the rights of vulnerable communities in a region that serves as the intermediate zone between the savanna and the Amazon rainforest. Yep. Uh, she continues her fight in a dangerous region for environmental defenders. You go, girl. We will be reading your obituary soon. All right. Uh, Anyway, guys, I, uh, I, uh, only going to touch on some of these. Uh, this is actual talking about over there about Asian manatees called dugongs and, and seagrass, but I'm going to change this story. Uh, I don't know if, if, if Manga Bay is going to get to it. I, have I mentioned, did I mention already this week? that manatees in Florida, more manatees have died in Florida this year than any year in history, more than 900 in the first half of the year. And it appears that the main reason is not boat collisions or red tide, although they're pitching in, is the fact that the sea, gra the sea grass beds that the manatees depend on are just turning into dead zones in Florida and the manatees are starving to death. Uh, anyway, okay. Uh, again, guys, I just have to skip a lot of these. Uh, okay. Now let's go over to look at a planned dam 
inside a Philippine national park catching flack from activists and officials. You know, uh, as Cougar W. will tell us every week, there is no such thing as a protected area on this planet. The very notion of a protected area is a joke. And here's one more, one more chapter. Yes, a subsidiary, subsidiary of the San Miguel Corporation, one of the largest companies in the Philippines, has proposed a $500 million hydroelectric project that will overlap inside a national park. Uh, Northwest Panay Peninsula Natural Park holds some of the Philippines' last stands of intact lowland rainforest, is home to endangered species, and is a vital watershed for Panay and neighboring islands. Yes, the project is still not approved and a growing coalition of activists and local governments opposes the plan. Okay, let's look in to our crystal ball. Will the Philippines government approve this dam or not? Uh, my guess is sometime within the next year, I will be probably sometime about the same time I'm reading about that woman in Colombia getting a bullet through her head. We're gonna read that this dam was approved. <sighs> All right. Um, in, in, anyway, a story about rewilding. You know, how can you be against rewilding? Uh, all right, we have artificial intelligence helping us forecast Amazon deforestation. Yeah, I, I don't know why we need an artificial brain to forecast Amazon deforestation. What is wrong with all of the human brains forecasting Amazon deforestation? Yes. A new tool code developed by Microsoft, no less, has identified nearly 10,000 square kilometers of the Brazilian Amazon that is in imminent danger. Yes. Anyway, imminent danger. Okay. Black death aside, we know surprisingly little about rodents and disease. Uh, Sancho, where is that flea collar? I ordered Sancho's $62 flea collar uh, about four days ago. Still looking for his flea collar so I do not catch, uh, so I do not catch cat scratch fever, which I've actually had cat scratch fever, Bartonella, Hantavirus, Lyme disease, leishmaniasis, leptospiriasis, and of course the bubonic plague. Okay, if one thing don't get you, something else will. Here is uh, the uh, futility of trying to protect Colombia's shark paradise. Oh, good Lord. All right, this is the uh, Manga Bay weighing in on the code red for humanity. Yes. Um, the authors of the IPC's latest report use the strongest language yet to connect human activity to climate change, calling the link un equivocal. Yes, the report draws from the findings of thousands of studies, blah, blah, blah. I anyway, guys, I think we know about the code red for humanity. Uh,
you know, all of this talk about protected forest being a joke. Imagine trying to protect forests that are not designated as protected forests. Yes, forests in the Brazilian Amazon not designated already as indigenous territories, conservation parks, extractor reserves, or other types of protected areas span an area the size of Spain and Portugal combined. Yes. Uh, standing forest is seen by many in power as an impediment to economic activities like cattle ranching and mining. Uh, more than 18 million uh, hectares, meaning 44 million acres of this land, meaning the ones with no protection whatsoever, has already been illegally claimed as private property with the number of claims surging by 232 percent over the last five years, a strong indication of land grabbing, and now new legislation at the federal and state levels now promises to legalize these land grabs, effectively rewarding environmental violators with legally recognized land titles. Yes. Let's go over to Nigeria. Nigeria seizes scales from 15,000 dead pangolins. I did not know there could still be 15,000 dead pangolins in a raid last month in Lagos, Nigeria. 196,000 sacks of pangolin scales weighing 7.1 tons. Jesus. Uh, okay, what's going on with those Save the Planet electric cars? Drive toward green cars should not rely on mining the seabed, conservationists say. Yes, conservationists are urging electric car and technology companies not to support or use resources derived from deep sea mining, an activity that could potentially cause irreparable damage to the marine ecosystem. The burgeoning electric car industry relies on a number of minerals for batteries, uh, including lithium, mag manganese, nickel, and cobalt, all of which are not easily accessible from terrestrial sources. Yeah, so guess where they are going? Uh, more stories on Amazon fires. Uh, here we go. Why we need the government to curb Amazon deforestation. Yes, deforestation is rising in the Brazilian Amazon with last year's forest loss reaching the highest levels since 2008. Yes, how about this one? Uh, without government action, there will not be better days for the rainforest. Yes. Uh, guys, anyway, uh, this goes on and on. I mentioned this one earlier. New study says changes in clouds will add to global warming, not curb it. This debate, you know, some people acting like clouds were going to cool the planet. No, they're going to, uh, the, the damn clouds are going to hold in more heat at night than they're going to block from coming in in the day. But speaking of heat not being blocked by clouds, I am sweating like a pig here uh, in this long sleeve black t-shirt on this hot and miserable day. 
and I need to head out. I think I'm going to make some organic salsa out of my garden. I have tomatoes, peppers, onions, and cilantro all in my garden. I'm going to go make me a big pile of organic pico de gallo salsa out of my garden. And uh, oh, sh I'm out of tequila, and we have to head off to buy some tequila while we still can. Bye, guys.